Human cells have 46 chromosomes, 23 from mom and 23 from dad. That means you have a double set of chromosomes and each chromosome has a buddy with similar information on it. We call these buddies homologs. Homologs are the same size and shape and have information for the same things on them, but that information might differ. For instance, you might have information for blue eyes on one chromosome and its homolog might have information for brown eyes. To produce offspring with these double sets of chromosomes, there has to be a process that creates cells that have half sets. We call these cells the sex cells or the gametes. The process is called meiosis. You remember mitosis, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, boom, new cells. In meiosis, we start with a cell that has the double set or diploid number of chromosomes, and we go through phases like in mitosis, but they are a bit more complicated. In prophase one, the chromosomes become visible and pair up with their homologs. Then they mix up the genetic information by crossing over. This is when the chromosomes twist up together and exchange chunks of information. It's very important that they do this so that information that came from mom can be mixed with info from dad. In metaphase one, the chromosomes line up at the equator. In anaphase one, the homologs separate. In mitosis, the chromosomes split at the centromere, but here they don't. One body chromosome goes one way and the other goes the other way. In telophase one, the cell splits in two with half the number of chromosomes in each cell. Because those buddies are at opposite ends of the cell. Now we have two cells and both cells do each of the following phases. In prophase two, the chromosomes in each of the new cells become visible again. In metaphase two, the chromosomes line up in the middle again. In anaphase two, the chromosomes get split in half, just like in regular mitosis. In telophase two, the cells split again. Now we have four cells where we used to have one way back in the beginning, and those cells have the haploid or half the number of chromosomes than the original cell had. And that's how we make eggs and sperm through the process of meiosis. Stay awesome.